Hello Aquarius! Welcome to Samurai Tarot. This is your September 2021 reading. This is your life, love, and career reading. Okay, so... Let's do this. Spirit, what are the messages for the collective of Aquarius for September 2021? Give me three cards, past, present, and future. And... For life, love, and career. Okay, main energy. What do you have? High Priestess. Hmm. You're on silent mode, or somebody's on silent mode. Somebody is doing their spiritual thing and they're keeping it a secret. <coughs> or you're keeping a secret. Oh, <laughs> what's the secret? You've been fighting with someone or squabbling with people. Some peppy energy. And September enders a ruthless ending. Oh, holy mama. What do we have here, Aquarius? You died? <laughs> anyway. High Priestess Secrets. Someone's not talking and people are angry. What? Okay, so someone just, you know, someone is doing their ritual and people are angry because they're not talking. They're busy! And it's going to be an ending of some sorts. There's some betrayal, people talking behind your back, people backstabbing you, you're backstabbing other people. It's so petty, Aquarius. Why you're participating in this kind of energy? You're supposed to be spiritual, or maybe you just have a lot of secrets. Let's look at love. Hopefully, it's a lot better than your general re No, it's not. Because <laughs> your general is part of your love. Anyway. Sleepless nights, that's going to turn into a Ten of Swords. Why? Because of a message? So somebody's trying to reach out, or you're, you, you're going to reach out in September. Because you've been worried. But then you're going to have to make a choice. You might also have a child who's a fire sign. And you're worried about your kid, and you're gonna choose. You're gonna make a choice about your kid. Somebody died. But I, I keep on getting somebody died. That for all, okay. Work. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the Hierophant, so you're applying for a job at a certain organization, could be a religious organization, and you're trying to clean up your act by, act, by presenting yourself as this handsome debonair <laughs> kind of, or uh, this uh, pretty, pretty woman kind of look, so that you can land the job. Okay, and you got don't you have to you don't have to worry, you're gonna be you're manifesting this you're manifesting, you have every every tool that you need. So there's a big possibility that you'll land a job in September. If you're jobless, you're applying for work, you'll get the job because you're the right fit for the job. Okay, let's clarify. Jupiter coming out. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, things are moving. Okay, sorry. This goes here. So the wheels are turning. 
Okay, so whoever's quiet will start the will start to talk. And secrets will be revealed. Whatever's been hidden will be found uh, will be Okay, what's hidden is money. <laughs> they're quiet because they have money. <laughs> or they're working on their money. Or they're working on their legacy. Or they're um, working on a commitment. They're committed into something. Someone is also committed with their spirituality. That's why they're quiet. That's why people gotta sit down and stop squabbling because... The other person is just praying the hell <laughs> for peace and quiet and tranquility, love and for the salvation of humanity. <laughs> Come on, why are people angry <laughs> when you're when you're quiet just praying? Okay. And manifesting <laughs> your wealth. <laughs> See? Okay, also the reason why this person is quiet, the person you're connected with, or you are quiet because there's no equal give and take in the scenario. They keep giving, 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 or you're the one who is taking, taking, taking. Okay, take it how it resonates. So someone is quiet and going within with their spirituality because they're manifesting... Uh, they want a long-term commitment. They want equal give and take. And the universe is going to grant them their wish. I hope it's you. Okay. I hope it's you. I hope this this uh, high priestess is you. Um, you are going within and manifesting a good life for yourself. Let's take a look at this petty energy. What's this petty energy? Regrets. Moving forward. Star, you came out. Okay. Okay. So there's your you have some sort of regret. So you went within because you have some sort of regret. However, you're gonna move forward. You're gonna take control and move forward and be the star that you are. You're gonna heal from this situation. You're here, so this is positive. The star card is positive. So from this pettiness uh, con and also confusion, you will find the answers. You will be enlightened and you will heal from this situation. You will move forward victoriously. Okay. What's with the uh, Ten of Swords? Harsh communication. The truth. And the moon. You're gonna rush in to tell someone the truth about a betrayal and secrets that were kept from this person. Or vice versa, a person will be rushing in to tell you the truth about what you don't know. It could be about a deception. So you might be dealing with the Pisces, Cancer. Okay, you came out. A Pisces and a Cancer. Uh, a Virgo. Scorpio, Aquarius. Uh, wait, uh, Scorpio, Leo, and a Taurus. Wow. I can imagine this scenario, Aquarius, wherein a bunch of fixed signs are gathered together for a common squabble. <laughs> oh boy. You know what they say about uh, people, you know, people... There are, there are people who gather together for the common good or the greater good. But there are also people who gather together to, for the common evil, you know. 
so these people gathered together so that uh, they can tear a person down. I hope you're not participating in this pettiness. I hope you're the one who's going to tell the truth about the situation and bring the situation into life, Aquarius, because I'm really praying that you're the good guy. I hope you're not instigating uh, some shenanigan and trying to get people to gang up on somebody because that's going to cause an ending, like a permanent ending. You know, if the person was just quiet because they were spiritual, and you be the people, you and other people are like taking it against this person. You know, people are entitled to their uh, to their sanctuary or their uh, sacred space or their privacy. You know, if they don't want to spend time with people, then they have they have like rights to do so. If they if they want to go within and be spiritual and ascend, they have rights to do so. So if you are going in spiritually and you're keeping it to yourself because you want to manifest a brighter future for yourself, then these people have no right to tear you down if that's the case. So it could be scenario number one or scenario number two. If it's scenario number one, I hope you're not participating in petty BS. If it's scenario number Oh, that's scenario number one. I hope you're not participating in some petty BS. If scenario number two applies, I hope you're okay because other people will try to backstab you. And someone will tell you the truth that these people are onto you. Okay. Now, let's move on. Hopefully, your love situation is brighter. But your love situation requires a decision. So you had sleepless nights. Because you're looking at your past, what you've achieved, and how much you have. You're also looking into your finances. And at the same time, you also have a spiritual, you're also gaining spiritual awakening. So this tells me that, um, this tells me that you have a spiritual awakening and people are ganging up on you because you're spiritual. Two of Swords, you're trying to protect what your heart. So uh, I guess um, you can go to our Okami playlist and uh, do a heart chakra meditation. There's some binaurals there that might be able to help you, binaurals and uh, meditation exercise. Okay, mantras. Okay. So they looked at your life. And you saw that you want to be free. Free from all of this uh, uh, chaos. And that uh, you wanted more from what you... Uh, you wanted more from life. Now you're protecting yourself. But that entails that you have to also make choices better choices if you're if you were making poor choices before now you're gonna make better choices okay so in september you have the page of wands which is a message and also this is moving forward you're moving towards calmer waters you don't want pettiness and squabbles anymore you're gonna be victorious so you're in you're starting a new life you're turning a new leaf and you're focusing on your creativity. So you'll be successful in that. It's going to take time with the Knight of Pentacles. It's going to be a slow process, but be patient. And also get a lot of rest and meditation. Okay. Okay, so if I'm going to look at it and... Look at it in the perspective that you're connecting to another person with that particular set of cards. Your person is resting because they're working on their money so that they can uh, rise up. 
and be recognized. Okay. If I look at the clarification, the, the connection you have between you and this person is created. So you're both creative individuals. That's how you're connecting. And one of you, you're both working hard, but one of you is resting and praying. And then the other one is, uh, has already gained a footing or they're, they're already, uh, they've already garnered some sort of success in their endeavors. Let's clarify the lover's card. Okay. The lover's card is a choice. So in September, there's a choice that's going to be made. Okay. I, I talked about uh, a, a child. Also, you might be uh, concerned because your connection with this person in your love life, uh, you, have, you may have a child with this person, which is a child who's a fire sign. And that child is very creative and unique. Okay. Or also, you see this person as creative and unique. But definitely a page is a manifestation, uh, which is a new, turning a new leaf and focusing on creativity. Like you don't care what people say. You're just going to do you. Okay. The lover's card has the four of pentacles that's holding back and also uh, talking about finances. But this is a card of alignment. You're in the process of aligning your, your emotions, your chakras. Okay, because this is, this, there's justice. So, okay. So if you're married, there's a divorce or a separation wherein there's a child involved and you have to make a decision who's going to take care of the child. But you're worried about your finances. Now, if uh, if you're single, or you're... the decision is to focus on yourself, to regain balance, and this connection to restore this connection so that you'll have a happy family. Okay, so from what I'm seeing here, okay, two of pentacles. You're struggling with your finances as well, uh, based on the four of pentacles as well. That's why you're trying to align or trying to like save up. And you're turning inwards with your spirituality to resolve the issues that you or the problems that you're facing. And once you've aligned yourself, centered yourself, then justice steps in and to balance the situation. And then uh, either you reconcile with your partner and take care of the children together. Or you may decide to take care of the child for yourself so that the other partner can be free. You know. But because you're concerned about the child. So it's either you're concerned about the child and you want to get back together with this person and create a family of your own. Wherein you'll, you'll foster happiness and you'll give a good home for this child. For those who have children. For those who are single, you're focusing on your creative endeavors to regain balance. And this will give you emotional fulfillment and you'll be happy. Because you choose to take care of yourself. Make sense? Make sense? Okay. Alright. So there's a little bit of struggle or balancing act that's going to happen in, in, in September. But bear in mind, you're moving in the right direction. Okay, I'm I'm really happy with uh, how you are handling yourself, Aquarius. Uh, you might be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, 
A Cancer is showing up. A Pisces is showing up. A Taurus is showing up. A Gemini is showing up. So, whoever you're dealing with, it's any of those signs. Now, let's clarify the... Uh, Okay, the cards here in your finance spread. Okay, what is the Knight of Cups? Knight of Cups. Okay, gaining enlightenment. There's a little bit of delay with the Hangman. Okay, but okay, it's kind of a, an offer that's returning. Okay, with the judgment, it's like a comeback opportunity. It was once offered to you before, but for some reason, uh, maybe there was a delay. Uh, could be delay in travel, because this night just stopped at the river. <laughs> okay, you couldn't cross the river, or the, the work uh, is on the other side of the river, about the other side of the body of water. And... Okay, you're trying to be patient. You're trying to be strong. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio and a Leo and a Pisces. With regards to this work thing. Uh, for some of you, it's, the, it's a group. It's a religious group. Or for some of you, it's somewhere where wisdom is being taught. You're trying to... Uh, Apply or reapply. Apply or reapply. Whichever. Okay. So there was. For, okay. So in September. Okay. There was some kind of conflict. But you will overcome it. And this. This will cause an ending. Okay. With the King of Pentacles here, um, the King of Pentacles is stable. Okay, so I'm getting there's like because the Five of Swords, it's a win-lose kind of thing. That's why... I can tell what to... It's either like I'm hungry, I need to eat dinner. There was an ending. There was an... Sorry, I, I hope this resonates with you because... There's a one-upmanship scenario and there was an ending because you and some other people are looking up to this very stable individual. It could be a boss. But you're looking back at this person because you know that this person is stable, but Okay, what what bothers me is that there's a harrowment here. Um, people were committed to this thing, to, to this work, but there's one upmanship that happened. Even though you look at, you know, you look up to your boss or this person that you're, um, this person that is stable, could be jealousy. Okay. But there's some sort of disagreement. Okay, now, okay, I'm getting a different story now. Uh, for some of you, So you applied for this job, the first story that I was picking up earlier. You applied for this job, and you will stand out against the other applicants. 
and you will get the job and the pay will be good okay all right now let's see what the magician has to say okay it's clarified by the eight of swords overthinking six of swords moving forward and then hermit going with it so you you gain uh from from the previous encounters that you had you gained some wisdom that made that uh, actually you're going to be used in the future you will be using it as tools you were enlightened so in the past you didn't get the job uh, because there was some delay but while you were on a pause you you kind of shifted from overthinking into uh, from overthinking with the eight of swords into calm and peaceful thinking and then you decided to to like give yourself some more time and discover and gain wisdom from your solitude. Beautiful. That's all I can say. It's beautiful. So from from chaos to order. From ignorance into wisdom. Okay. Now with the high priestess and the uh, with the high priestess and the uh, hermit on this spread, because they're a pair. Uh, okay, they're a trio actually. The high priestess, the hierophant, and the hermit. They are all both connected to spirit. Plus, with the. Uh, with the full card also in indicating spirituality. So what changed in this scenario is you're slowly beginning to be spiritual. Okay, maybe during this time, I'm recording this in August. So during this time, you're working on spirituality and you'll gain some enlightenment. And that enlightenment will open up doors for you because you were rigid before swords are thoughts so it could mean philosophy overthinking um, you're trying to philosophize uh, or intellectualize every single thing but now you've gained some spiritual you were inspired for some reason and you've gained some spiritual um, uh, knowledge you became enlightened because you were working on yourself, you were working on creativity, you were focused on yourself, you realized that uh, you need to turn your life around and uh, find some stability and happiness that is more important than being correct. Because intellectualization is just someone who wants to be correct, someone who wants to be right all the time. Spirituality is openness and open-mindedness and accepting, understanding, and looking into the light, seeing the light out of things, not trying to categorize everything, not trying to uh, philosophize everything or intellectualize everything, just letting go and just seeing things for what it is and not being attached to it so that's that's the some something that that you will gain in september and then that will ultimately stop your overthinking because you're going to be with the night of the night of cups here on your finances you're going to stop overthinking and you'll be like accepting your emotions and your feelings which will actually uh settle move forward your way of thinking and settle your mind and quiet your mind and that will make you happy awesome aquarius awesome all i can say it's 
It's an awesome, awesome meme. From chaos to order, from from noise to stillness. That's what I'm getting here. Three cards, please, for the sign of Aquarius. Amazing. One, two, and three. Okay, it's similar to what... It's similar to what Libra and uh, Libra and the, the two other signs. Okay, let me, let me, wait a minute. Let me try to shuffle this, just to be sure. Anyway, the, the message will be the same, if, it's, if that's the message for you. Just to be sure, because I don't want, maybe I forgot to shuffle the deck. <laughs> you know. Okay. All right, Spirit. Please clear the energies for any previous reading. Okay. So, I'm very happy that an Aquarius out there is becoming spiritual. You know why? Because Aquarius is humanitarian. Now, this Aquarius will no longer be codependent with other people and start some fights and, and conflicts, this, this particular Aquarius is now going to help a lot of people. Because they will shine their light and happiness to others and it will inspire, uh, inspire others to follow the, their lead. This Aquarius that I'm reading for is going to be enlightening other people. Yeah, yeah, okay. I forgot to shuffle the deck. Okay, bottom of the deck is take. A it's time to take action, New Moon Aries. So that's a different, uh, different card than earlier. Okay, uh, let's get more. Universe, please give me three cards for advice for the sign of the sign of Aquarius. You might be dealing with a Capricorn and a Scorpio. One, two, and three. In every moment, the universe is conspiring to bring me to a word right-minded thinking, what did I say earlier, and the energy of love. So from overthinking, you're going to be focused on creating love in your life, being loving. Okay, general uh, advice, your hard work is paying off, New Moon and Capricorn. You might be concentrating on yourself, your spirituality, and creativity. That's why it's making you happy. The universe works fast when you're having fun. See the colors? Rainbows. So you're starting to enjoy being free from your mental prison. You might be dealing with a Scorpio. We have full moon in Scorpio. Oh, we had we just had a full moon in oh no, not a full moon, but the moon in Scorpio. Okay. Anyway, it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. So maybe a Scorpio helped you transmute and was an example to you of how uh, how important. Uh, cultivating your spiritual uh, side is is and this allowed you to surrender. I surrender to a greater power than me. Okay, so you stop controlling other people and stop uh, put uh, like placing expectations on other people. Emotions are running high, super moon. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I chose again. I choose love. Very nice. Okay. So, in September, you're you'll be beating the competition, or or you'll you'll stand out, and you will be heard, and people will recognize that what you you'll be speaking wisdom to other people, and that will gain you recognition. Okay. So you were looking up to this to this King of Pentacles and 
as you look to this King of Pentacles, you realize something. The, the King of Pentacles was just sitting, not moving, not doing anything, but they're stable. So you realize that you don't have to have the last word in order to be happy. You just need to be stable and accept yourself, accept situations for what it is. And then you realize that that is more loving compared to arguing, uh, trying to be correct to other people. Okay? All right? Amazing, amazing, amazing. So you released the arguments. You released being right. You released trying to uh, please other people. You released... Uh, what else did you release? You released trying to control the situation. And you just let go. Okay? So... If it's your love life, you just let go, you know, um, maybe you've forgiven this other person and you accepted them for who they are and so that you can live with them harmoniously and raise this child, okay? If you're single, you spent a lot of time doing creative work and you found your joy. Maybe you are doing something and then you dropped it and then you did something new. But sometimes you just need to do something new in order to find that this new thing is a lot better and gives you more satisfaction, okay? Which gives you more fulfillment with the uh, Ten of Cups, okay? Or you release somebody and that somebody is now out of your life. You're taking care, you're a solo parent, you're taking care of your child and... You're working on yourself and your stability. You're trying to find a new job, which you will get in September. And you have a new life. Okay? You're living a life that you are true and authentic to yourself. So, in September, it's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Release everything else that doesn't uh, contribute to your well-being and you know seek wisdom from within don't listen to other people okay and most likely some of you in September will just drop your old belief system that is not serving you well because belief systems are limited okay just like before I I want to share with you, Aquarius. I was very, very religious. When, when I was a kid, I'm always at church. If I'm not doing anything, I'm at the prayer. Um, let's say I've, I've, I'm done with my assignments. I'm done with my projects. Uh, uh, I've played with my friends. And then I go to the prayer chapel alone without anybody else telling me i was so religious and after that i'd go to the cemetery and visit my my uh, deceased relatives and pray for them that's what i do well well us scorpios were like uh, you know we're connected to the the death uh, the death card meaning um, we're okay with uh, the concept of the afterlife now, that's what I did for a long time, for like uh, until I turned, like when I was in high school, I started exploring other religions and other religious groups. And each time I hit a brick wall because I wanted answers and nobody could give them to me. And then I realized at the end of, my, at the end of that journey, uh, I'm from Roman Catholic, um, some Christian group, and then some, um, I've explored a uh, Muslim group. Uh, I, I was taught by a Muslim, and then I, and then 
I went to Buddhism and lot, lots of isms and then Hinduism and then uh, what else? <laughs> what else? Sufism, uh, just all of the isms. And then I realized that they're all connected. It's just one big story that is chop chopped. So you only get a piece of the story if you're staying in just one group. But if you come, step out of any of these groups and cultivate your own spirituality, you will find all of the missing pieces and the puzzles fit together if all of these stories were placed in one table and then it will hit you, universal oneness. All of these religions are a result of one collective energy, one collective consciousness, the super subconscious, and the products were these uh, groups of religions, but if you, they're just pieces of the puzzle and there's a big picture behind it. So if you're fixated with one leaf, you can't see the tree, in other words. Okay? So that's my realization, just sharing my journey. So I hope it adds to your um, awakening, Aquarius, okay? So I came to the point in my life that it doesn't matter which religion I join. It doesn't, it didn't matter uh, if uh, what certain religions would have this strong opinion about their religion. It doesn't matter because in the end, we are all one. And that's how uh, I started changing the way I resolve conflicts by stepping back and seeing it for what it is. Okay? Stepping out of the chaos and seeing the chaos for what it is, what caused it, who's contributing to it, and then me being out of that chaos, I, you know, you, I, we become peaceful without effort because we just did not contribute to any some, some sort of identification or conflict or trying to be right all the time. Okay? And a lot of the, a lot of those who are still focused on uh, religious practices, there's no problem with that. There's no problem with that. It's just that you have to recognize it's just one piece of the puzzle. And there's more out there to explore. Okay? And you'll find out that the, the categories for black and white are like rainbow colors. Just like this. Okay, so uh, again, you might be connecting with the Scorpio, and the Scorpio taught you how to transform and transmute. It's either they taught you how, or they became an example for you. Okay, and maybe you saw the Scorpio being at peace, but because they're no longer participating in the conflicts. Okay. All right, so, wow, uh, I'm so, I so enjoyed this reading that uh, we're running about 43 minutes, but it's worth it, I tell you, it's worth it. Now, please do me a favor, Aquarius, keep up the good work, okay, the great work, you're moving towards the great work. The magical life. You're moving into a different realm. Okay? It's exciting. It's fun. It's unpredictable. And it, the living a magical life, a life of spirituality, just brings a smile to your face for no reason at all. No reason. You don't have to have a reason in order for you to be happy. Okay? 
and you won't have to have ex existential crises all the time trying to figure out what's right or wrong or which is your preference. When you have no preference, then you are everything. Anyway, so if you like this reading, give us a thumbs up. You, if you're new. <laughs> okay, there's a siren. If you're new, subscribe. And if this resonates with you, let's discuss over the comments. And if you have time, you can check out Okami Sigma at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We have other socials. Uh, let's share wisdom with each other, okay? Okay, I'm sharing a lot because I was called for this, uh, this kind of spiritual work. Uh, and the universe... Uh, cleared the path for me to do so and that's why here i am so hopefully aquarius once you can find your own divine path and maybe you can help share and help other people along the way all right i hope to see you in your october's 2021 samurai tarot reading aquarius thank you and you have a good one